Like I have to tell you, the world's a mess. If I left my room in this kind of shape when I was a kid, I'd be grounded for a year. I'd like to see it all straightened out before I die, but that's not going to happen. Still, you want to do something. Composting and getting around by bike while dressed in vintage wool sweaters is a good start, but I was looking for more, so I signed up for the 2013 Finger Lakes Permaculture Institute Design Certificate course up near Ithaca, New York. I received a scholarship as a community activist with fiscal sponsorship from the Permaculture Institute of the Northeast. I learned a great deal over the summer, and I got to see many of the permaculture principles and ethics in action. It was also fantastic to be around so many other people with an awareness of our dire situation who were making a commitment to take action. I'm using my scholarship money to start a website and newsletter in Beacon, a former mill town about 60 miles upriver from New York City. I'm calling it Wigwam, a home economy journal. I'm using Wigwam, a type of Native American dwelling once found here, not to suggest a literal notion that Hudson Valley residents, whether Native American or not, should or could strive to go back to living in wigwams, but as a reminder of the values inherent in that kind of structure, and a reminder of the values of the people whose word it is, an inspiration to look at ways we can all live more harmoniously with our surroundings going into the future, starting at home. By focusing on home economy, and by that I mean individual households and the community, and on out to the bioregion, I believe we can broadcast the principles and ethics of permaculture to a wide range of people. Wigwam will tell the stories of organizations and individuals who are helping to regenerate our local economy here, from proprietors who are reestablishing the kind of small traditional businesses that were once a staple on Main Street, to organizations like Common Ground Farm and Green Teams, helping to inspire a young generation to consider a career in healthier, smaller scale farming and food production. We'll also feature short how-to videos by local craftsmen and homeowners, everything from how to sew on a button to the best way to keep your axe sharp. Like my two weeks at permaculture camp this summer, I hope Wigwam will inform and inspire and help my community evolve more creative ways of living. Thanks again to my teachers and classmates. Let me just say, if you've watched this far, you are a prime candidate for the Finger Lakes design course. Go for it.